Today, we're doing a Sonic build challenge, but I'm gonna be secretly using hacks to troll my friend. Using the command slash slash pace, I can instantly spawn in this massive Sonic build. And little does my friend know, I'm gonna be filling up the entire thing with traps to troll him. And alright, let's go check out my friend GE. And GE, what in the world is going on over here? Bubbles, check out my new pet. Is that a mutant zombie? What do you mean your pet? Yup, don't you like him? Wait a second. GE, what the heck? Watch out! But Bubbles, what are we doing today? We're gonna be doing a Sonic build challenge. Sonic? You mean like this Sonic? Whoa, yeah, just like that Sonic, GE. I knew it, but what side are you gonna go on? The blue side or the green side? Um, I think I'm gonna go on the green side. The green side? That's my side! What the heck, GE? Alright, fine, I'll go on the blue side then. Blue's better anyway. Well, whatever, Bubbles. We only have 10 minutes to build this, so let's get started. Alright, now GE can't hear us anymore, so it's time to cheat. I'm just gonna go chat and type slash slash paste and oh my goodness look at this sonic build i think the very first thing that i want to do is add in a fake entrance and i think that the shoe is the perfect spot for this so let's break these two blocks here and let's add a password protected door and let's make this password something that's impossible to guess and there we go six seven eight nine and we're in for this fake entrance i'm just going to be making a room that drops g into a pit of mobs and we're going to be making it out of emerald blocks because i know that's his favorite block. This is definitely gonna get him. And there we go. The room is completed. First thing I'm gonna do is put a large chest at the end of the room, which baits him to think that this is some treasure. And then I'm gonna dig out these blocks in front of the chest and replace them with ghost blocks. There we go. And now when GE walks up to open the chest, he's just gonna fall right through. And at the bottom here, let's just add a pool of water so that he can land here safely. And then let's start building a wall of bedrock so he can't escape this area. In this room, we're just gonna spawn in a bunch of these giant evil monkeys and whoa look how strong this guy is all right let's spawn a few more of these guys in and there we go just like that our fake entrance is complete and now it's time for us to make the real entrance where should we put it let's make it in sonic's eye right here but before i start on the real entrance let's just go check on ge and see how he's doing so let's just fly up to the wall over here let's just break a few blocks and see if we can see his build whoa what in the world is this just a few more blocks and there we go check out my sonic build what do you think of it little mushroom why is ge talking to a mushroom has he gone crazy you like it i do too but little does bubbles know i'm gonna fill up my sonic with a ton of dangerous traps with a super secret prize at the end tnt ge's trying to kill me and we only have seven minutes left so this is going perfectly wait seven minutes we gotta quickly go back to our build come on go 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 okay now it's time for me to build my real entrance so let's just put a little ledge over here and we'll cover this entrance up with some ghost blocks so it's impossible to find. For the first obstacle GE is gonna have to get through, I'm gonna be building a monster pit that he's gonna have to get across. So let's first build the room for it, and there we go. Now we have to make the pit of monsters, so let's just break out some blocks over here. This pit is gonna be filled with some super scary mobs. Now that the pit is completed, we can spawn them in. First, we're gonna be spawning in these tiny mutant endermen. Oh my goodness, they look so scary. Let's just spawn a few more of these in. Next, we're gonna be spawning in these huge angler fish. These guys are so dangerous. And last but not least, we're gonna add in some of these demon wolves. And okay, this pit of mobs is looking extra dangerous now. And now let's add some lasers on the other side so GE can't get across easily, just like this. And let's leave a little opening over here because I'm gonna place a chest down in the pit and fill it with a bunch of ladders so that GE can get out. But the only way he can actually get to that chest is by finding this hidden chest over here. And in this hidden chest, I'm going to be putting a whole stack of grenades. These grenades will help GE kill all these mobs and let him open that chest. I don't want this to be too easy for him, so let's just go over here and place down a special button. And let's put down a command block here. And now when GE presses this button, he's going to get teleported right into the middle of this pit. It's going to be hilarious. And now let's go make the entrance to the next room. Let's break the blocks over here, and let's build the pathway to the next obstacle. For this next room, I'm going to be making GE fight a super insane mob. And there we go. This room should be big enough. Then let's start by adding some iron bars. But before I spawn in this super insane mob boss, I'm gonna put down a password protected chest right here. Let's just make the password 999 and let's fill it with a full set of emerald armor and a ruby sword. Hopefully those items will be able to help GE defend himself against the mob boss. And now we're gonna have to give GE a way to find out what the passcode is. So let's just build the numbers in the walls. Let's put the number 9 like this. There we go. And another one over here 
here and the last one over here. Now that we have all three nines placed out, let's just start placing paintings over it. GE is going to need to break these paintings to be able to find out what numbers are behind them. And there we go. Now it's time to spawn in the mob boss. Three, two, one. And oh my goodness, look, it's a mutant phantom. But I'm curious, what is your favorite mob in Minecraft? Make sure to comment it down below. I can't wait to see GE try to fight this mob. Now that the second obstacle is completed, let's make an entrance to the next one. But before I build this next room, I'm going to go meet up with GE and check how much time we have left. All right, GE, come to the top of the wall. All right, I'm coming right there. Hey, GE. Hey, Bubbles. I was wondering, how much time do we have left to build this? Hold up, let me check my clock real quick, and we only have five minutes to build. Five minutes, what? Go, go, go. We only have five minutes left, so let's quickly build this next obstacle. For this next challenge, GE is going to have to pick the correct door. And if he picks the wrong door, he's going to die. Let's put the two doors down like this, and I'm going to make the right door the correct door. So for the left door, I'm going to make GE fall into a pit of poisonous water. So let's just build an area down like this for GE to fall into. Now let's fill the bottom with poisonous water. And now when GE opens this door and falls in, he's going to die to the poisonous water. And now let's make the correct drop over here. And let's fill the bottom with a bunch of fake lava so GE will think this is actually the wrong answer. And now that this room is complete, we can move on to the next trap. For the next trap, I'm going to build it over here. So let's just break these blocks like this. And let's make this next room entirely out of iron blocks. I'm going to be making a dangerous spike parkour so first let's section this area off over here and let's completely fill this entire floor with a bunch of super sharp spikes i would hate to fall on one of these look how sharp they are and there we go now that the spikes are placed down we can start making the parkour so let's just make the first jump pretty easy over here put the next jump right here and then i'm gonna make him do some ladder parkour just like this and for the next part he's gonna have to do a slime block jump right over here which is gonna take him to this block over over here and for the next jump i'm gonna make it literally impossible because this block over here is actually a secret chest and in this secret chest i'm gonna put in an ender pearl so instead of making this impossible jump g is gonna have to try and right click this block and get the pearl and using this ender pearl will take him to the next obstacle which is gonna be right over here but to be completely honest this parkour area is a little bit too easy so i want to do one last thing to spice it up let's actually replace this jump with a barrier block the barrier block is completely visible so hopefully this will give GE a harder time and before building the next obstacle I'm gonna go troll GE real quick so let's just fly to the wall over here and then break a few blocks and see if we can see GE and oh my goodness look at him he's over there building his sonic build for this prank I'm gonna place down a command block and I'm gonna place a lever on top of it and when I pull this lever it's gonna give GE speed 1 million which is gonna make it impossible for him to continue building let's pull the lever in three two one all right, let me move to the back and wait a second. Why am I going so fast? Oh, what's happening to me? Oh my, look at him. He's running so fast, just like Sonic. It's impossible for me to build right now. Wait, what the heck? And before GE loses his speed, let's quickly aim this bazooka at the foot of Sonic and let's shoot a missile. And oh my goodness. Wait, what happened to my Sonic? No, 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 no. Wait, who did that? Oh my goodness. We only have four minutes left too. This is so bad. Wait, what? We only have four minutes left. Let's quickly cover up this wall and head back to our build. That was a very successful prank on GE, but now since we only have four minutes left, we have to quickly get started on this next obstacle over here. And for this next obstacle, I'm gonna make GE go through a lava tightrope. So let's just build out the room like this and then build the walls up. And now that we have our room, let's fill the entire place with lava. Let's start placing these walls down as the tightrope he's gonna have to get across. One wrong step and then he's gonna fall straight into this burning lava. And then we'll make it lead right over here. And I don't want to make this too easy for GE. So on the sides over here, let's just add in some mobs. Let's spawn in a skeleton just like this. And one more over here. And let's even spawn in a blaze in this one. There we go. Now we have all the mobs ready to knock GE off as he tries to cross this tightrope. And the last thing I want to add to this room is a little item frame right above the entrance with a shield inside of it. This shield will help GE not get knocked off by the mobs, but only if he can find it. And now that this obstacle is completed, we can move on to our next one. So let's just build out an area over here and then on this platform we're gonna place down a chest and an item frame and in the item frame i'm gonna put in an elytra and then some fireworks in the chest and then with the elytra and fireworks he's gonna have to fly all the way up here to the final room so now it's time to build the last trap let's finish up the room for it then in this room let's place down a trap chest as the fake treasure put a command block underneath then when ge opens this fake
big treasure chest, it's gonna spawn an end golem behind him. Look how powerful this guy looks. Now let's build an area for the real treasure, which is gonna be right behind this room. Let's build out a platform like this, then cover it up with a bunch of ghost blocks. Now we can place down the real treasure chest. Let's just fill it up with a whole bunch of emeralds and golden apples. G is gonna be so happy with his prize. Just like that, our Sonic build is complete, and it looks like the time is up. So let's go meet up with GE and check out each other's builds. Hey GE. Hey Bubbles. Whose Sonic build do you want to check out first? Well, my build's definitely the best, so I think you should check out mine. I don't know about that one, but let's go check yours out. And what do you think of my Sonic build, Bubbles? Whoa, what the heck? This looks so good. Wait, it does? But GE, why is it made out of dirt? Oh, uh, because Sonic loves dirt, remember? I don't remember Sonic ever loving dirt, but where's the entrance to your build? If you check the top of his head, you should find it. And just to let you know, Bubbles, I hit a super secret treasure. Ooh, I wonder what it is. And looks like I found the entrance right in his ear. Yup, and if you want to make it inside the build, then you have to figure out which one is real, the lava or the water. GE, you're so silly. That's too easy. The water is obviously the right one. Wait, why am I taking damage? Haha, <laughs> you just died, Bubbles. I can't believe you fell for my trap, but there's only one more option left, so I guess you should try it out. Into the lava we go. And what? I'm burning in the lava as well. GE, both of these answers are wrong. Yeah, Bubbles, they are, because this is the fake entrance. Are you serious right now, bro? That's the fake entrance? Then where's the real one? I don't know. You're just gonna have to figure it out. Well, the fake entrance was in this ear, so is the real one in this ear? No. Is it in the eye? No, it's not here either. GE, I can't find it. Where is it? Here, Bubbles, I'll give you a hint. It's in one of his legs, and if you want to find it, you're gonna have to spot the difference. In one of his legs? Hmm, well, it can't be the right one, because that would be too obvious, so I think it's in the left one. Alright, give it a try. And, whoa, it's a door. Yup, and inside, there's a green spring, so let's go. Let's go. You made it. What is this, though, GE? This is my lava obstacle course, and to get started, step on this spring. Whoa, okay, here I go. And let's make this jump here, and onto the next spring. And what is this, GE? This is an item box straight from Sonic. An item box? Let me try and open it. And wait, what did that just do? You're going super fast now, Bubbles. Whoa, I am going really fast. You're just like Sonic, but if you want to make it across, then you have to get across the lava without dying. Whoa, we're so fast. This is really dangerous. Yup, but are you going to make it? And I did it. Wow, you did it first try too. I guess you can move on to the next level then. Let's go. And Bubbles, welcome to my maze. Your maze? Why is it made out of dirt? Oh, uh, don't worry about that. But I made this maze super difficult, so you're definitely not going to get past it. We'll see about that. Let me try and go here. And this is a dead end. You know what? I'm just going to break your maze because it's made out of dirt. Wait, what? You can't do that. Get back there, Bubbles. And look at that. I'm on top of your maze and it's super easy to get through. Get back, Bubbles. You can't do that. What the heck? You just block trapped me. Yup, and now you're actually going to have to solve the maze. Hmm, okay. Well, it looks like I'm already almost at the end. So let's just walk around a bit over here. And it looks like I made it to the end of the maze, GE. Oh my, are you serious right now, Bubbles? You really just cheated your way through that maze, but I guess you can move on to the next level. All right, here we go. And is that a mutant hoglin, GE? Yup, you're gonna have to fight this super dangerous mutant hoglin. Oh no, I'm scared. I don't want to fight it. Come on, Bubbles. Don't be scared. Wait, but what is this chest over here? Let me try opening it. And it's password protected. Yup, I put a password inside of this chest. And it has a ton of useful gear inside of it. The password is definitely one, two, three, four. Four. Wait, that's wrong. Yeah, I wouldn't make it that easy. Can you please tell me what the password is, GE? Uh, you know what? Sure, fine, Bubbles. But only if everyone likes and subscribes right now. Quick, everyone like and subscribe in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. All right, GE, everyone liked and subscribed. So what is the password? Oh my, you know what? Fine, I'll give you the code. It's 9876. 9876. And we got some amethyst armor and a shotgun. Yup, but now that you have all your armor, I'm gonna drop the walls in three two one let's go whoa let's quickly shoot it with our shotgun and this guy does so much damage oh my goodness come on come on come on just a little bit more oh my goodness you just died it got me once but second time's the charm let's just keep hitting it with the shotgun come on and i did it ge let's go bubbles that was really scary but now that i killed it let's go on to the next room this level is going to be the most challenging yet wait what is this supposed to be welcome to my race course bubbles and i put your treasure all the way at the end race course well this doesn't look too difficult hmm well 
Well, you're just gonna have to see because I'm gonna put in this go-kart. A go-kart? Oh no, I suck at using these. It's okay, you got this, Bubbles. You got so close. All right, well, let's just start driving a little bit this way. And whoa, this thing goes so fast. It's kind of hard to control. Oh my goodness, are you gonna make it? Come on. Oh no, I fell into the lava, GE. Oh my goodness, you already fell. All right, well, try number two. Here we go. We just gotta take it slow and steady over here. Slow and steady wins the race, but you're not really racing anyone, but it doesn't matter. Come on, let's go, Bubbles. Just gotta make this super difficult turn, and looks like we made it. Let's go. You're almost at the end. Now onto the ice. We're just gonna have to speed this. Go, 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 and I made it, GE. Finally, Bubbles, and now that you got through all my obstacles, you can open up your prize. Ooh, I wonder what the prize is gonna be, and whoa, it's a diamond. But wait, what's that sound? Oh my goodness. Gee, I can't believe you would explode me like that. <laughs> you really fell for it, Bubbles, but did you get your prize at least? Yep, I got my diamond. Let's go, and now that you got your prize, I definitely want to check out your Sonic. Sounds good, let's go. All right, GE, are you ready to see my amazing Sonic build? Yeah, I'm so ready, Bubbles, but it's definitely not going to be better than mine. All right, well, come over here, GE. All right, but when can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. All right, let me look and wait a second. What the heck is this? This is my amazing Sonic build. What do you think, GE? How in the world did you build this in 10 minutes? I'm just a professional builder. I mean, I guess you are, but come on. This is like so unbelievable. I don't know what to tell you, GE. I'm just better. But wait a second. How in the world do I even get in this thing? The entrance is right over here, GE, in his shoe. In his shoe? Well, I guess I'll try getting inside and wait a second. Bubbles, why is there a password on this? Yep, there's a password on it. And the only way I'll give it to you is if you say Bubbles is cool. Wait, I have to say Bubbles is cool? Uh, no way. There's no way I'm doing that. GE, you literally just said it. Wait, I did? Yeah, you did. So I guess I'll give you the password. Oh my goodness. That's so not fair, Bubbles. But whatever. Just give me the password already. The password is 6789. 6789. You know what? I totally could have guessed that. And wait a second. There's a chest here. Yep, you can come over here and collect your prize. Wait, there's a prize in there? Oh, I'm definitely collecting that. And wait a second. What the heck? You just fell into my pit of evil monkeys. Wait a second. Is that Godzilla? And why are they all coming after me? Get away from me, Godzilla. Get away. What the heck? Oh my goodness. I already died. Haha, <laughs> you fell into my trap. Oh my goodness. Bubbles, is this a fake entrance? Yep, you're right. This is a fake entrance. So now you have to go find the real one. Oh my. Are you serious right now, Bubbles? Is it somewhere inside of his hand? Uh, I guess not. Nope. Do you need a hint, GE? You know what? Sure, Bubbles. I give up. It's somewhere in Sonic's eye. In his eye? Wait, it's so big. It could be anywhere then. But wait a second. Why are there some blocks out here? I don't know, GE. Why is there? Hmm, well, maybe if I just try going inside and I'm in now, Bubbles. Let's go. Looks like you made it to the first obstacle. Let's go. I finally made it. And wait a second. Bubbles, what in the world is this? This is a super insane pit of mobs. And you're gonna have to get across it to reach the next level. I have to get across this? There's no way this is safe. Well, obviously it isn't, GE. That's the whole point. Oh my goodness. This does look pretty far, but maybe I can just try jumping across and wait a second. Ow, ow, ow. Haha, <laughs> you fell in. Oh my goodness. Wait, was I being eaten alive? What was that? Yep, those giant anglerfish eat you, GE. Anglerfish? Oh my goodness. Well, I don't want to be eaten again, but there is a button on the walls. Do you think it could help me, Bubbles? I don't know. Try it out. All right, let me try pressing in. Oh my goodness, I'm being eaten again. No. Haha, <laughs> you fell for my trap. I can't believe I've already died two times. This is impossible. I knew you couldn't make it across this obstacle, GE. Wait, so you knew I couldn't? Well, that makes me want to cross the bridge as much as possible. Well, how are you going to get across, GE? Well, there has to be something inside of this room, right? Maybe if I just keep punching it and oh my goodness. Wait, there's a secret chest right here. And there's a ton of grenades inside. Yep, it's a whole stack of grenades for you to use. Wait a second. So maybe I can drop the grenades inside of this tunnel? Come on, let's see if this works, please. And holy moly, it looks like they did a ton of damage. And whoa, GE, you just used the grenades and killed all of the mobs. Yeah, finally, those things were scary. But what's inside of this chest? Take a look inside, GE. All right, let's see. And a ton of ladders. Oh my goodness, finally, I can get outside of this room. Now you can go to the next room. All right, and wait a second. What is this? This is a mutant phantom, GE, and you're gonna have to fight it. A mutant phantom? Wait, this is so scary. How in the world am I gonna defeat this thing? You're gonna have to get some gear from this chest right now. 
right here. All right, let me try opening it. And are you serious right now, Bubbles? There's literally a password on this. You can't do this to me twice. Haha, <laughs> yes, I can. Now you have to figure out the password. Oh my goodness. Well, maybe it's somewhere around this room. There are a lot of paintings around here. And wait a second, there's a wool block. Maybe there's something behind these paintings. And looks like you figured it out. There's numbers in here. There's the number nine. Maybe there's some more. Let me try opening it up. And there we go, another nine. And the last number is over here. Let me try opening it. And oh my goodness, I could have guessed that again, Bubbles. Are you kidding me? You definitely wouldn't have, but now you can grab your gear. And there's a ruby sword and a ton of emerald armor. Yep, it's green, your favorite color. Well, now I'm definitely ready to fight this thing. All right, the cage is opening in three, two, one, and the fight begins. Oh my goodness, I already died. Wait, what is this? Good luck, GE. And wait a second, I already took it out. That was so easy, Bubbles. What? How'd you kill it so fast? I thought it would be way stronger than that. Well, I guess I'm just a Minecraft pro. And look, he even dropped these eggs too. Ooh, these are some cool eggs. Yeah, they are. And I'm gonna step on them and really, dude? No way, the eggs just blew you up, GE. Oh my goodness, that's so unfair, Bubbles. But there is a door here. So let me just try making it to the next room. And what is this? Welcome to the gold room, GE. This is where you're gonna have to choose the correct door. Door one or door two? Wait a second, Bubbles, you didn't say I couldn't look at both of them. So let me open up both of these doors and there's lava here. Okay, I'm definitely not going in that, which means the only way I'm gonna go is the water. Let's go and wait a second. Why am I taking damage? You just fell into my poisonous water, GE. Poisonous water? Wait, how did I die? You died because you chose the wrong door. So does that mean I have to go inside of the lava? Yup, you're gonna have to jump inside the lava. Oh my goodness, this is so scary, but I guess I'll just try jumping inside and oh. Wait, I'm not taking any damage. Wait, what the heck? Yup, because this is fake lava. Wow, that is pretty cool. But wait a second. There's another room here. Wait, what is this? You made it to my super spiky parkour. Wait, spikes? I don't like the look of this. Yeah, they're super dangerous. So you're gonna have to try your best not to fall. All right, well, lucky for me because I'm a parkour pro. But this looks so scary. You made the first jump. Oh, uh, Bubbles, this doesn't look possible. Well, it actually is. Just figure it out, GE. Use that big brain. All right, let me just try making it in. Oh, my goodness, is that an invisible block? No way, you just jumped onto the invisible block. And I can really see the spikes from down here. Okay, I gotta make it onto the ladders. Easy peasy. Now it's time for your favorite, a slime block jump. Let's go, I do love slime blocks, but there's no way I can miss this, come on. And there we go, oh yeah. You're almost completed with the parkour, GE. All right, let me try making it, and I just died. Haha, <laughs> you fell into the spikes. This jump does not look possible, but maybe I can make it on the heat. Here and I died again. Come on, GE. I didn't know you were this bad at parkour. Oh my. Bubbles, you made it hard on purpose. But while I was making that jump, I did notice something. What did you notice, GE? That there's an ender pearl inside of this block. No way. You figured it out. And now I can use this to go to the next jump. And there we go. You made it past my parkour, but now it's time for you to make it through this lava tightrope. Lava tightrope? Oh my goodness. This sounds really scary. But maybe if I just take it slow and ow, ow, ow. You just got shot by this skeleton ge i'm taking so much damage what the heck looks like you already fell into the lava well maybe if i just take it really fast come on come on and i just fell in the lava are you serious right now haha <laughs> ge you suck bubbles are you sure this is possible i'm a hundred percent sure ge hmm well maybe i just have to take it really slow this time come on don't shoot me please and oh my goodness i have to run back but wait a second is that a shield oh yeah ge looks like you found the shield now it'll be much easier for you to get across well i'm definitely making it this time come on let me try making it across all right come on just have to be really careful oh my this is really close but now i made it to the end good job ge you made it past the lava tightrope and welcome to the next obstacle let's see what's in the chest wait a ton of fireworks and an elytra yep you're gonna have to fly all the way up to the emeralds there all right well i haven't used the elytra in a long time so hopefully i can make it good luck ge all right let me jump off real quick and oh my goodness what if i use one of the fireworks and look at that Ah, bubbles i already made it you really did that on your first try ge i guess i did but that went way too fast maybe if i just try making it inside and ooh, what is this you won now you could collect your prize it looks like there's a huge prize in here all right let me try opening this and wait 
What the heck? What is that? Haha, <laughs> you died, GE. I'm gonna have to put on my armor again. Wait, what is that? I've never seen this in Minecraft before. This is an end golem. It's super powerful. Are you gonna make it through, GE? Are you gonna do it? Come on, come on. And wait, what is this? Looks like you made it past the end golem. And now you can collect your real prize, GE. All right, let's see what's really inside of this chest. Come on. And a ton of emeralds and enchanted golden apples. Yep, it's all for you. Thank you, Bubbles. I love this. All right, now that we've seen each other's builds, which one do you think is better? Well, if I compare these two builds, I think mine is better. No way. I think mine is better. Wait a second. Then who wins? I guess we'll have to let the comments decide. Everyone comment GE. No, no, no. Everyone comment Bubbles. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to see another one of our adventures, then make sure to click the video on screen. Go, go. Click the video. Are you serious right now?